My name is Kieran McCarch, grandson of two of the victims of the McCarch Bar Massacre. Information Commissioner's Office, ICO, is investigating Police Service Northern Ireland's refusal to hand over basic information relating to fingerprint evidence police gathered in the aftermath of the McGurk's Bar Massacre. We believe the police either destroyed the evidence or it relates to named Loyalist agents on its books. 15 civilians, including two children, were murdered in the No Warning Loyalist bomb attack on McGurk's Bar on 4th of December 1971. Despite forensic and witness evidence, and before the families had even identified all of our loved ones, the police and British Army blamed the victims for the atrocity. In November of last year, I raised a simple request for information relating to a fingerprint ledger that proved that the RUC, Royal Ulster Constabulary, retrieved a number of prints from articles of evidence, including two prints from the, quote, car used in explosion Great George Street, end quote. The police did not provide the evidence relating to the discovery of the car and the fingerprints to the coroner at the original inquest and hid the crucial information from the families for decades. To compound this police failure, the Office of the Police Ombudsman then deliberately withheld the fingerprint evidence from the families and did not include it in its 2011 report into the massacre. I asked PSNI three simple yes-no questions. One. Are these fingerprints in PSNI records today? Yes or no? Two. If not, do we know when they were lost? Yes or no? Three. Were they ever linked to named suspects? Yes or no? On January 30th, 2024, PSNI replied that it will neither confirm nor deny this basic information. It upheld its decision following my request for an internal review on 27th of February, 2024. PSNI then doubled down and informed the families it will neither confirm nor deny this basic information due to potential health and safety concerns for any living individuals that may be subject to the release of the information. The Information Commissioner's Office has informed me this week that it is now investigating PSNI's refusal decision following my complaint to ICO. I only requested basic information and asked whether RUC or PSNI had linked these prints to named loyalists in police files. I did not ask for the personal information of anyone and a simple yes or no may have sufficed. Either RUC PSNI linked the prints to the perpetrators or it did not. Either it still has this crucial evidence or it has destroyed it. Our families believe PSNI refuses to hand over this basic information in order to protect police agents that perpetrated the massacre and bury evidence of a deliberate police cover-up over the last 52 years. Yet again, PSNI proves it does not protect and serve victims in legacy cases, but perverts the course of justice in order to protect its own criminal interests. It is now up to the new Chief Constable John Boucher to ensure that PSNI does not defend a sectarian police force in the past when it is demonstrably wrong 